Hello again class, I just want to provide another video in reference to the pseudocode and I wanted to break down a couple of the conditions just to provide examples of what I'm referring to. Uh, a lot of times what I will say is in computer programming languages when you initially build your program as I said before you need an architect or design. Uh, one of the examples I provide is a home builder will not even start on the foundation until he has a full design of where every outlet, wall, etc. is going to be placed. Much like that, we use that uh, same methodology in computer programming. One of those methods that we provide is a pseudocode. Pseudocode is not a programming language in and of itself, but it does provide a structure and it also gives us a good communication of what exactly we require or are asking for in our program. The other benefit of the pseudocode is this is more like a human language as opposed to a machine language and it's easily readable by anyone. So let's say for an example a company wishes to have a specific program but he does not know if that program will be written in Python, Perl, Java, etc. What they would do is they would basically construct what they desire out of that program in a pseudocode which is readable by anyone and then he could provide that same pseudocode to three different programmers Python, Perl, Java for example and ask how much will it cost for this program to be created and they in turn can look at the program request and then provide um, a cost value for their time and effort in order to create said program. Now the person that's requesting it can actually uh, decide better or worse which one that he wants done. But the point of the pseudocode is to give clear defined um, meaning of what he wants. I don't know how else to explain that. So let's look at a couple of examples here to break this down. So in a pseudocode what we may have is an if-else statement. So if a condition is true then I want it to do this specific action or, or else I want it to do this particular action and then I want to end that condition. So a perfectly normal day example might be if I am thirsty then I would get some water else I will just remain where I am and then that would end that's just an example of an everyday deal so another example is perhaps uh, doing the dishes and uh, what we could do on this particular pseudocode is a loop so my loop would be a while or end while that condition remains true, perform that action. Else it'll end, right? So then a normal everyday example would be while the dishes or dirty dishes remain, continue to clean those dirty dishes. If once it's complete, it's done. Okay? So here's another quick example of jumping jacks. So in my pseudocode, I might require a, an endless loop for four or end, okay, for a number of times or x number of times. Perform this action. Once the number of times have been completed, then I want to end that action. So an everyday example might be for 20 times, perform jumping jacks. And then when the 20 times is complete, it would end this loop. So again, just trying to convey a little bit more examples on pseudocode and how you would be able to use it. Um, hope this helps.